This is a massive smoothie, isn't it? <laughs> so I know it's been a while, um, a couple of weeks now, I think, since I last posted. Um, basically, sorry, somebody can see me filming. Awkward. <laughs> me and my boyfriend have just moved in together into um, our first flat, which is this, um, <laughs> which you can't really see any of it. And so, so, you know, the week before was just preparing to move out and then the past two weeks have just been organising everything, buying stuff and getting settled in. And I've only just, this past week, been able to figure out a routine. So, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so, for lunch, I'm just roasting a potato and carrot which I am um, seasoned with salt pepper and garlic granules you can obviously just use garlic powder but I can never seem to find garlic powder in the supermarkets and what I was just using then was vegetable oil spray which even though olive oil I think is definitely healthier for you I think you could definitely go for that but I just like to use vegetable oil spray because it has a lot less calories in it yeah <laughs> And I put them in the oven, I roast them for about mm, half an hour, about 180. And so that salad mix, I prep on Sunday and I put it in that big container so I have that throughout the week with whatever. So yeah, today is with potato and carrot and some avocado. I'm also going to have it with some hummus. Uh, as I'm the only one who eats hummus at the moment, I am having that this week for every single salad just because I don't want it to go to waste. But I do usually make other dressings throughout the week as well. But honestly, you can't go wrong with hummus. Hummus, I think, is my favourite kind of dressing to go for. And here is how the potato and carrots come out looking looking beautiful and I just spread that out evenly I tried to put the hummus in the centre but jokes it's really not in the centre at all and that is for the gram <laughs> And this is how I spend my lunch on the sofa, mixing up what once was a pretty salad, turning it into an absolute mess, and watching Khloe Kardashian, uh, what is it, Revenge Body? Yeah, it's Revenge Body. Um, just to try and get me motivated to stay on track. Now I'm having a snack, orange, grapes and some nuts. Uh, did you know a Brazil nut gives you all your selenium uh, needs for the day? So I always have a Brazil, a Brazil nut and some walnuts for some omega-3s and some almonds for vitamin E. I also take uh, a B12 tablet and a vitamin D tablet with this. And I always have to have some kind of chocolate every single day. Now on to dinner, so this is um, a roasted cauliflower curry recipe that I kind of winged but it turned out really good, Jordan wants it again this week so I thought I'd share it. So yeah I basically cut up three bell peppers, half a large onion and that's what we'll be going with the sauce. I roast the cauliflower separately into a whole head of cauliflower into um, you know little, little chunks which I then roast with um, salt, pepper, 
uh, garlic granules and garam masala and a bit of rapeseed oil and I roast that for half an hour just turning it halfway through and yeah they do come out really yummy which you'll see later on And I try and mix this very gently because I don't want them to, you know, fall apart. So um, I just kind of toss them together really lightly to try and even it out a bit. And then I go back in with the rapeseed oil, with the garlic. Um, I use about six, <laughs> no, I use about four cloves of garlic, a bit of ginger, the onion. Those spices um, is a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of paprika. Uh, two teaspoons of garam masala and uh, ground cumin. I think that was it. Maybe a tiny bit of cayenne pepper as well. And then once the onions brown, that's when I added in the peppers. And I, as you see there, I add a splash of water just whenever things start to char a bit and um, stick to the bottom of the pan. And after about 15 minutes of those veg cooking, I add in the uh, one tin of chopped tomatoes and about a teaspoon of honey and I bring that to a boil and then let it simmer and this is how it how I serve it all out that's the roasted cauliflower I like to put that on the side just so it doesn't fall apart in that almost gel frazy like sauce I like to run coriander through it all as well and yeah that's it let me know if you try this out and if you enjoy it uh, this is definitely one of my favorite curries that I make yeah I hope everyone's having a lovely week and staying safe. Yeah, thanks for watching.